Hey Virgo, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for May 10th through the 12th, so that's Friday through Sunday. It's a weekend reading. Um, Virgo, I do have a same day deal going on right now. It ends Thursday, May the 9th at 3 p.m., so details are down below this video. You're probably actually seeing this on Thursday, okay? So um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right on in and see what we got here. Let's see what we got for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo people? Okay. <laughs> So you have two majors here. You have the devil and you have the moon. Um, you know, the moon could be Monday, but we're, we're doing Friday through Sunday. So I'm going to go with the devil card here for which day this might be hinting at because there's something specific going on in an evening and the devil is a Saturn card. So likely Saturday here. There's some sort of like urgent conversation. Some sort of like urgent conversation here. Let's see what's going on. Some of you, it could be with a Capricorn or a Pisces or a Cancer. we got Gemini energy here as well, but it could be any sign for that matter. What's going on? I feel like somebody could be bringing something from the past up, um, but it just seems like it's it's kind of chaotic all of a sudden. Like my deck is even, it, even showing that here. It's like all the cards were spread out. I could see the tower. I could see the empress. I could see a number of like crazy cards, you know, major arcana. But we have the six of pentacles out here, you know. So I do feel like a seed is planted of some sort. And you know what? Honestly, with the moon and the devil showing up here, it's possible that like, you know, this could represent the energy of somebody maybe being under the influence. And, you know, a seed is planted and it, it starts this big conversation here, you know, just on a random Saturday night. It's just this conversation that somebody's like, no, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be addressed. It's like... You know, it just seems like a very pushy energy in that Eight of Wands. Um, some of you, this could be a Libra or somebody who might have their um, Moon and Taurus or Libra. Let me get some more energy out here for this and see what's going on with this Virgo. Some of you, a person just may share very strong feelings with you. You got like triple Pisces energy out here, <laughs> quadruple Pisces energy. Somebody could just have Mars and Pisces here or Mars and Gemini. Um, see, and that's another thing here Two Mars cards. Like it's just this very like combative energy. Like it's not, you know, even if this is someone expressing their feelings that they've held back to uh, from you, Virgo, you know, even if they're expressing that, it just seems like they're still like a little aggressive about it, like weird about it, you know, like I don't want to share this with you because of your past, because of, you know, uh, you, you've you been with so many people, you've been in like a lot of relationships or you get a lot of attention. It's like there's something that's like, um, there's just element of like envy or insecurity here. So it seems like it's coming off in an aggressive way. So somebody may be a little bit intimidated by you. Um, you know, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. So some of you, I do, I really genuinely feel like whatever this conversation is, it's meant to be productive, but somebody's going about it in the wrong way, okay? And there's still a lot that they could be holding back with the High Priestess energy showing up. And even if you are genuine, and honest and straightforward, it seems like somebody may feel like you're holding something back. Even if you've not given this person a reason to feel that way, it could be their past that's kind of making them feel that way. Maybe they're feeling like, you know, everyone holds something back, right? It could be that, you know, it's like, you'll see a lot of this nowadays, nowadays, like women against men and men against women, and it's just crazy, you know? And so it could be that type of situation where it's like this person thinks that, all men hold something back or they think that all women, you know, are secretive and shady and they hold something back, right? It's that type of energy here um, coming from someone. It seems like it could be their past or the past that they have with you that is bringing up this like very insecure and borderline aggressive type of conversation here where it's like they want something addressed and they want it addressed now or they want you to make a decision and they want you to make it now, Virgo. So it's that type of energy here or they're wanting you to express a truth now. You know, it seems like kind of demanding I think that's where the aggression um, is coming in. I think that's where that energy is coming from. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Virgo. I hope that this was helpful or fun. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. Uh, if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. And hopefully I'll see you next time.